Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I've been a little bit busy. I made a 3D printer. Yay. As you can see, it has a arm going up, uh, adjust the height and back and forth movement to uh, do the horizontal position. We have the starting blocks, which is the main trigger which triggers the kill switch which should activate in 15 minutes unfortunately I what we'll do is we'll put it for about 20 minutes unfortunately I can't get the printer to reset yet it needs what I wanted to do is get this timer block to kill all the other timer blocks and tell the pistons to go back in the position and turn off the welders. Turns off the welders, but I can't get the pistons all to go back into their minimal state, which is a shame. But next one we have is oh that also triggers that block there, but I'll come to that in a second. This is the back and forth movement and the welders. So the welders will turn on and then the arm goes back and forth every 30 seconds. This block then is triggered and counts down if we just go to the actions. As you can see it sets the uh, height delay timer running which in turn sets height reverse so it, the piston will start extending block 2 delay which is obviously the time that we want before it goes back up and the height stopper which is this block here so that triggers immediately piston starts going up ten seconds later This triggers at 5 seconds, sorry. So this after 5 seconds goes up. And 10 seconds later, so 5 seconds duration, the piston will stop. While this also triggers this block, and then this block takes over these two. So if we go into this one, as you can see, every 1 minute it adjusts the height. So that was resume block and that's the stop block. So resume block counts down 10 seconds. So that's the stop block. The resume block only happens 5. So every 1 minute this block will trigger both of these. These will start after 5 seconds. And 5 seconds into this block, this has only got 5 seconds left, triggers and stops the reverse and also triggers this. Before you go into it. As you can see. So then it just counts back and forth between these blocks and most of these blocks get stopped other than this one. So the kill switch after 20 minutes it'll stop everything. So let's trigger it. Just gonna save it. So press it, you can see immediately turns the welders on. After 30 seconds this is gonna go back and forth and then reverse itself after 30 seconds. This one is triggered going to trigger that and that, which is in turn going to trigger that, and then take over these two. So I'll let you watch it and hopefully it should turn out right. I've not put a blueprint on, but we'll see how it goes.
Okay, um, as you can see, that is the basic principle. It does need a little bit of work. Um, for example, the time it goes back and forth, I want to get that just right before it moves up. So back and forth three times. So one, two, three. Oh. So it's at one, two, three, four. Moves up. One, two, three, four. Moves up. That ensures that all the blocks that it can possibly get is put down. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And what we'll do is just trigger this now. So if we trigger now, this immediately stops everything. As you can see, I can't get it to reset back into the position and lower it down, which is a shame. But hopefully they shall do some in the future updates. I'll do a little bit of work on the timings and I hope that we can set a ship printing. Also, what I wanted to do is put a rotor on there to spin around whilst it's printing just to make sure, but it's a work in progress. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe or send death threats. Thank you very much.